it's yet another beautiful day that we are here for the minutes of hope i do trust and believe that uh, the past two episodes have been a blessing to you and i pray that uh, the upcoming episode episodes will also be a blessing to you your family your friends and uh, the people that you share with this episode and we look forward to be ever improving and uh, always being excellent on what we do together with the production team i want to say a very big thank you for this far that we have come so today i want to share with us on a disciplined disciple who is a disciplined disciple i want to take us to the scripture from paul's letter to timothy second timothy to read at verse one up to verse six you then my son be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. And the things you have heard me say in the presence of many witnesses, entrust to reliable men who will also be qualified to teach others. Join with me in suffering like a good soldier of Christ Jesus. Take note of us for this is our take home verse today. No one serving as a soldier gets involved in civilian affairs but rather tries to please his commanding officer. Similarly, anyone who competes as an athlete does not receive the victor's crown unless they compete according to the rules. The hardworking farmer should be the first to receive a share of the crop. Then reflect on what I am saying. The Lord will give you insight into all these things. So our area of sharing today our topic today is a, a disciplined disciple so discipline is required in the life of a christian in your life in my life so today our our main point of our reflection is our second timothy chapter 2 verse 4. paul says that no one serving as a soldier gets involved in civilian affairs what kind of life does a soldier lead at the moment they are enlisted into the army or into the navy or into the air force when you are enlisted into the army you are required to change your hairstyle your diet also changes the way you dress also changes and your routine of waking up and sleeping also changes so the moment you accept christ as lord and savior in your life your life changes the way you behave the way you talk the way you conduct yourself the way you interact with people changes all of a sudden so three things that i want us to take note of from this uh, from this teaching today is a topic that we're sharing on a disciplined disciple a disciplined disciple number one is required to be strong in the lord you're supposed to be strong in the lord in the grace that the lord has given you the grace that the lord has given me number two a disciplined disciple does not get involved in civilian affairs. A disciplined disciple does not get involved in ungodly affairs, in things that don't please God, in ungodly charter, in ungodly places. You don't find yourself going into ungodly places. But number one reminds us we're supposed to be strong in the grace. We cannot be strong on our own or with our own strength and our own might. Then finally, a disciplined disciple is supposed to please his commanding officer. We are supposed to please God in all our talks, in all our endeavors in life. We are supposed to glorify him. We are supposed to lift his name high. I pray that these sessions will continue being a blessing to you. If you have not subscribed to our channel, please do subscribe on our YouTube channel. If you have not liked our Facebook page please uh, like our facebook page at sk good shepherd lakata follow us and subscribe on our youtube channel god bless you see you again on our next day